The Sun Avatar and the Robo Monkey are two of the best tier 3 upgrades in the game, but when you should get them and what cross path to get is what we're covering today. To start, the 300 Sun Avatar shoots three sun rays that have six pierce each. This guy is extremely good at popping both normal and mob quest balloons with its only real weakness being purples. This is one of the best mid game towers as it can solo most of the rounds up to 80, letting you save up for more expensive tier 5s. I call towers like this bridge monkeys as they serve as a bridge from the mid to late game. For cross pathing, a 301 sun avatar is usually the way to go as its high attack speed, pierce, and projectiles make it a very effective staller when the knockback upgrade is purchased. Plus, if external camo detection is not possible, you can always make it a 302 to make it able to pop camos. But there are some cases where a 320 is better. Better, as it provides a ton of extra range, faster projectiles, and plus two pierce. This is useful on maps with multiple tracks that are spread out a bit, like Mesa or Quad. Compare this to the 030 Robo Monkey, which gets a pair of independently shooting guns, each having six pierce and a crit that deals 10 damage every 15 to 20 shots. This crit plays a big part in keeping the Robo Monkey competitive with the other tier 3 Super Monkeys, and it is why its specialty is inflicting high single target damage for a low cost. The 030 Robo Monkey costs less than half as much as a 300 Sun Avatar, which can really make the difference in a run as 15 grand is nothing to scoff at. But when it comes to cross pathing, the top path is pretty dominant. The 230 Robo Monkey gives it plus two pierce and double attack speed, which pairs amazing with its passive crit. This being said, a 032 can be used as a support tower as its knockback does do pretty well against super ceramics, though there are better options. For targeting, you should normally have the Robo Monkey on first and close, as it is the best for most scenarios, but you can switch this to strong and close if you want it dealing as much damage to mob class balloons as possible. Overall, it seems like the Robo Monkey has the edge in this one as it outputs similar DPS for half the cost. But there's one more thing to consider, and that is how well they synergize with other towers. Starting with the Village, Jungle Drums, and a Monkey Intelligence Bureau are necessary for both monkeys, but they affect them both the same. Where this changes is when you get a Monkey Commerce Village. Because all their upgrades are so expensive and Tier 3 or under, you end up saving a ton of money. In fact, even one Monkey Commerce Village alone, discounting just the Sun Avatar upgrade, can single-handedly save more money than the cost of the Village itself. I like to go two 002 Villages for my Sun Avatars, as this saves me a ton of money and allows me to get jungle drums and a mib later on. These discounts are the same for both monkeys percentage wise, but the sun avatar costs more, so that is a point in its corner. These monkeys also need to synergize with the heroes that you bring in, and the main five that they can do that with are Obin, Pat, Gwen, Ben, and Adora. Running through these five quick, Obin provides extra pierce and range to all magic monkeys, Pat, Gwen, and Ben all have passives or actives that add damage to every projectile, and Adora sacrifice only buffs top path super monkeys. Now all five of these heroes benefit the sun avatar more than the robo monkey because the sun avatar shoots three projectiles per shot and the robo monkey only shoots one as its guns are independent of each other. That final point of the Robo Monkey transitions nicely into synergizing with Alchemists. As we all know, Stronger Stimulant Elks provide one of the strongest buffs in the game, especially for how cheap they are. These Elks give extra damage, attack speed, pierce, and range for 12 seconds or 40 attacks, whichever comes first. Now this synergy would be much closer if the guns were considered one attack with two projectiles, but that is not the case. So not only does the Robo Monkey blow through the buff much faster, but it also gets about one third of the benefit as the Sun Avatar has more projectiles than both guns combined. This means that the Sun Avatar just went 3-0 against the Robo Monkey at synergizing with other towers, and this is more than enough to make the Sun Avatar the favorite in most runs. When buffed by villages, elks, and a hero, it can go a long way for saving up for an expensive tier 5 tower, and even after round 81 it maintains its utility by stalling super ceramics. This makes it one of the best bridge towers in the game and can even be used on expert maps. But if you still want to get a Robo Monkey, the best time to do this is if you need a good amount of damage but can't quite save up for the Sun Avatar upgrade, or if you want to get the Tech Terror upgrade for that nasty ability that wipes out rounds 98 and 99.